Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Subnautica. The trip down to Florida to see my family went great. Thank you guys for all of the well wishes. I'm feeling so refreshed. I've through throughout the entire pandemic I've been working so hard. Just grinding away. And it's the longest stretch of time I've ever gone without seeing my dad, without seeing my grandma, and I missed him so much, dude. And it was, I, this last few days, all we did was like lounge in a pool and eat good food with my family. And that was like a thousand percent what I needed. And I'm so glad that I took just a couple days off to go do that. It was totally worth it, dude. It was totally worth it. That doesn't have anything to do with this video. So hello, welcome to Subnautica. Today we're going to try to focus on crafting a particular item that we found in the previous episode. Thank you for the warm reception on that, by the way. We need batteries, titanium, copper wire, and silicone to make a mineral detector. Proximity detector used to locate mineral fragments and other items with identifiable signatures. If we make this, we may be able to... Um, there's an electronic, the computer chip takes table coral, gold, and copper wire. If we can make the mineral detector, we might be able to find gold. And if this is like the first game, this computer chip was used in building habitats. So we could start building a base a little bit earlier than the last time. Hoopfish is still here. Nothing bad's happened to him yet. Just updating you guys on his status. Oh, wait, we got the rubber from the creep vines that were hovering right outside of our base. That just leaves, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. That just leaves titanium, copper wire, and a battery. Now, the battery is going to be the hardest thing. Didn't I grab extra battery things? Maybe, maybe we'll go looking for that right now. That sounds like a plan. I'm underneath one of the glaciers right now. I actually need to come up for air pretty soon. There's a spot here. But I was traveling along the wall here expecting to find some minerals against the rock but not seeing too much hello oh it was a symbiote that was glowing oh oh i'm frozen ah, what did that did i get too cold no my temperature is fine oh look at that Something's frozen here, too. Huh. Oh, you guys got any minerals? Whoa. Whoa! Um... Okay, this location... We are... Wow, I went way further than I thought. 455 meters away from our life pod. I just came up to get some air here. Will this freeze me? This all looks totally frozen over. There's lights here, which means there's been a human that's been here. Hello? More lights. More lights. Hello, is that a tract? <gasps> oh my god, this is a whole facility. Well, I did not expect to find this today. <laughs> Why is destroy snowman even an option? Are you kidding me? We can't scan it though. At least I thought we could. Yeah. New blueprint synthesized. So we can we can make snowmen. Well, in the time it took me to get rid of my hiccups, the <laughs> sunset <laughs> and the storm passed. So at least we're a little safer. I was hoping if I destroyed the snowmen, I would be able to use the rebreather that was on its face. Oh my god! 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I noticed we didn't get the blue. Okay, never mind. It said two out of four, I think. One out of four. Okay, we're two out of four now. Are there any more prawn suits here, dude? Oh, I'm starting to get pretty cold. Can I get inside this place? If not, I might actually freeze. Hypothermia imminent. Oh! Okay. Well, we could use the light on our sea moth. Oh yeah, power cell charger. This is gonna be the gold mine for blueprints, dude. Okay, we could already make that. Blueprint synthesized. It's your field. Stand tall. Be singular. Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. Oh, we got grow beds and a lot of PDAs. Uh, harvest produced from grow beds and plant new seeds to do refill engine oil and cool it in pro. Okay, it's just a task list. Uh, uh, do we already know how to make lockers? Multi purpose room! Beautiful! A long scan, but worth it. Indoor grow beds. I'm gonna take a few of these lantern fruits with me. They're pretty big. New blueprint synthesized. We can learn about the lantern tree again. Anything else in here for me to scan? Well, that lantern tree doesn't seem to be doing pretty good. Multi-purpose room glass dome. You could see the moon through the roof. That looks great. New blueprint synthesized. They were very, like, not square, but there wasn't much to the multi purpose rooms before. Just got a new scanner. Large room fragment! Beautiful. We can make that already. New blueprint synthesized. A chair? Okay, I don't believe I've. Oh my god! New blueprint synthesized. How do I get out of here? Is that the northern lights? It was just a little purple in the sky. That looked really pretty. Uh, we could probably learn the bulkhead, yep. Settle in! Zero New sector is comprised of two square kilometers of ocean bordered by mountainous terrain to the north and west. This region of the planet is covered in snow and ice, left in a mostly permanent winter. Extreme weather events make for spectacular sky displays at all hours. For unknown reasons, it was selected by architects as a hub of their installations. Life in the area has flourished since the release of Enzyme 42! That was us. We did that. <laughs> we did that. Get comfortable. Research Station Zero features state-of-the-art facilities, including three to six-person accommodations, full science and engineering sections, leisure and exercise facilities, large grow room and water filtration unit for self-sufficient living, weather forecast suite, and a prawn, prawn bay. Explore! You, valued member of the Frost Pack, have been chosen to occupy the main sector base, just below the primary alien research site. From here, you will conduct research into alien communications and technologies and conduct away missions to unoccupied installations elsewhere in the sector. Well, this is awesome. So this was like their main research hub. No wonder they have such good stuff in here. Finding a water filtration machine is a pretty nice find. Are we gonna need multiples of these? Just the one, all right, nice. Where does this lead? Oh God, this is even bigger facility than I thought. Sam space? What was she doing all the way out here? <gasps> this is where our fucking sister lived? Oh, we can make a sign. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous, 
Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Pengling research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, be brave, worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, what? When they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, I can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No hmm. more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right. Now's my time. I've got this. We got a jukebox disc for listening to songs, I guess. It is so insanely dark. Wait, I do have torches, I think. Oh, I sure do. Let's bring out one of the flares. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. I was trying to use our sea glide for light, but uh, that doesn't really seem like it was working out. We do have to, oh, I guess we could throw it on the ground. I just want you guys to be able to see while I'm doing stuff in here. That's the biggest challenge so far. New blueprint synthesized. I've never seen an area have this many blueprints in it. This is honestly a staggering amount of new materials that we're finding here. Absolutely incredible. I do keep finding my character kind of stuck in place here. I got to jump sometimes, especially in our sister's room when we were digging through there. New, New PDA? Not going to read it, huh? Instructions. Alien Intruder is a game played by 6 to 15 people. Oh, it's about playing a game. Okay, that doesn't really affect me right now. I don't know 6 to 15 people here. Is that a fucking ion cube? See fluid intake. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. If that's, an, stabilizing. if that's an ion cube, they were getting into some pretty serious stuff out here. They were getting into some alien technology out here. What's this thing? Can't scan that. Damage modification station? It seems like they're just kind of throwing blueprints at me. Aquarium here? Oh my Your god, we can even already craft the modification station. Hello. Oh, potato. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. <laughs> couch walrus. Instead of a couch potato, hey, he's Sam, a couch walrus. You want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi, Oren. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working oh. on. Oh, um, this is a personal project looks more like biology than robotics yeah i was just thinking i know no one is on my side with this but what if i just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium i uh, i wouldn't say no one is on your side i'm on your side i know but you won't <gasps> say anything to emmanuel or zeta or anyone what effect would it have if i did I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. 
Uh, so, that was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. <laughs> I found a Habitat Builder blueprint while they were talking, just in case you missed that. Uh, so everything we've seen so far, we should be able to make. Assuming we get the Habitat Builder up and running. Looks like there's a little bit more to this facility over to our left here. Uh, but still a few PDAs inside to listen to. I was hoping there'd be a scanner room or something in here. Uh, when I saw that this mod, mod station here, I was hoping that's what it would be for, but no luck. Over here in a cage, they have one of the alien robots just hanging out. He looks inactive. Doesn't look like he's moving at all, but they have him in some kind of a containment orb. They have some alien artifacts in here, as well as that ion cube that we found, so I hope we can figure out what they were doing. While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries, and we know efforts to wake or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. Wow. Was she right? Could there be architects living on this planet? Altera really messed up if they got that one wrong. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Ooh. The architect's sanctuary, 1,000 meters away. That's cool. <laughs> There's a small path this way. A brew shrub bush. Um, I'm wondering if this leads to another facility or if it just goes back into the water. There's lights going the whole way, so it probably leads to someplace important. There was one more thing to pick up inside of that facility that I saw. <gasps> oh, you guys are into some alien shit here. I mean, I guess we already knew that, but we're starting to see the evidence of that yet again, even outside of the faci facility. Ice stalagmite. You know how you remember the difference between a stalagmite and a stalactite? Stalactites hang tight to the ceiling. Stalagmites might get there one day. There you go. We got some education in this video. So, looks like this place is pretty important. I don't see any type of console to interact with to get that force field open, so I imagine it's gonna happen on the other side. There's gonna be another way in. That's the working theory. Not seeing anything else to scan, so I'm gonna head back down, but that looks so cool, dude. There was another storm rolling in. We were pretty quick though. All right, what was worth storing in a data box? A control room. New blueprint synthesized. Detailed wall mounted display audits and discloses whole stability and energy consumption. Customizing stations control identifying base details, including name and exterior colors. Automatic clock reports pinpoint accurate local time. That seems kind of cool. I'm going to give this one more sweep and then we're heading out. So we do have the blueprints for the habitat builder. It requires a wiring kit. Ugh! God, I can't even see the path. Oh, 
I'm back at the water. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I guess I can bring out my light. I was just really jarred by how dark it was when I first came down. What is that thing? Is it spinning? Okay, I'm gonna head back to the base. I'm getting low on water. That was a really cool find. It was underneath these like glacier shelves. Oh, these are great for water actually. We can keep moving here. Big storm happening off in the distance. That's crazy, dude. Oh my God. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow, this game is stunning. Alright, the last thing we need to make for the mineral detector, which was the whole thing we started out for before we got sidetracked by that facility, is a copper wire. In order to make that, we need two copper. Do I have any more in storage? I sure do. It pays to be prepared. Alright, let's see it. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. Well, that's great. I'm all about that. Let me store these posters and some things I picked up in here, and then we'll head out and give it a try. Okay, it's looking for quartz. Select next, limestone, gold. Uh, we need silver specifically. It says that it's searching. How do we know when it finds it? Oh, that storm is back. It's draining some of the battery every few seconds. Well, let's try something else. Oh, it's showing up on the radar. Oh, so it doesn't see any copper. It doesn't see any fragments. It doesn't see any salt, which we saw some salt. So this thing probably has a relatively weak range. Not picking up any gold yet either. Uh, maybe this thing isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Okay. So funny enough, I just happened to swim over here. Still searching, still searching, still ser- Oh, we found some! Crazy short range on this thing. But this this shelf here, a uh, hundred meters away from the life- uh, from the life boat, uh, just towards the rock shelf. Has gold and silver. That's a good fucking find, holy shit. You can literally see the lifeboat from there. So for the habitat builder, I just made the wiring kit with the silver we found. We're gonna need a computer chip and another battery. Uh, do I have enough to make another battery right now? We're gonna need to find a few more ribbon plants out there. And the computer chip takes table coral and copper wire, which I think we have enough copper. This thing could search for table coral, I think. Yeah. But, um, if that last thing was in the indicator, I might be better off just looking for it on my own. <laughs> uh, table coral was like, that was a roar. Stuck to the side of rocks in the last game. It seemed a lot more abundant in the last game though. I think I've seen some. I'm just gonna cruise around for a little bit. There's another sea moth thing. Oh, perfect. And then we found a ribbon plant down here. Whoa, that goes deep. Oh, 
Oh, it actually helped. We're coming in on a table, Coral. Where is it? I passed it. What the? Oh, is it beneath me, dude? <gasps> there she is. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, we have one sample. I think we need two. And I definitely need some air. Uh... That sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. I can't really do that at the moment. I would need a rebreather at the very least. Uh, table coral is a little bit more difficult to find here. Oh, this gets pretty deep here. Oh, okay, okay, I got the shivers again. We got a new journal Picked entry. up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. I need one more little battery pod thing and then we're good to go. Got one. These are becoming harder and harder to find. I'm hoping soon I'll be able to maybe grow these. That would be nice. We have the indoor grow, grow bed. We don't have an outdoor grow bed yet. And with that, the habitat builder can be completed. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Thank you. With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. Advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage. No place to put a fabricator module. No fun. No fun. Oh, this looks like a good spot right over here. What do you think? A nice multi-purpose room right on top of this hill? Start things off? Connected to another multi-purpose room? Oh, they're not snapping. Probably because it hasn't been made yet. We're going to save the base building for next episode. I just really liked my base in the shadows, really close to the top of the water. And I want to try to emulate that in this game, too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. I cannot believe that we're already talking about aliens. That's crazy to me. Take care, guys. See you again soon. Goodbye.